Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and connect your MIDI keyboard and in this case this is the VX2 but you can also connect some other keyboards that you have but it doesn't really matter which one you have so I'm going to connect this one and I'm going to show you some couple of ways how you can connect your MIDI keyboard it doesn't have to be this brand but I like this brand because I have like a little thing what I do is I just connect it to the USB port and then what it will do you can just play wirelessly on your PS5 and it's pretty simple. And this is all, these are basically the keys that you all need. You can even connect something else, like you don't uh, specifically need to connect it with a mini keyboard. You can also do it even with a Apple keyboard or a normal keyboard that you have on your PC. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. First off, let's turn our PS5 on. Now, what you need is a USB cable that you can connect your keyboard with. Or if you don't need that, if you have a keyboard like me with Bluetooth wirelessly, you can just go ahead and connect it with that. But make sure that your keyboard is turned on. So let's do that. And now my keyboard is turned on. So what I can do is I can connect this and then it will be just connected with my PS5. So like you see, it's now connected. So what you have to do is, let me turn this one a bit like this. So what you want to do is you just want to grab your controller. Let's do that right now. And now let's press on the PS button. I'm going to go to Kiri. So you will, this, you will see this icon over here. So now what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and connect your mouse. So if you don't have a keyboard that you can connect a mouse just next to it, here's like a USB port, if I can show you guys. So like you see, and on the other side, we have a USB-C, like you see. And on the front, we have the ba batteries. And also guys, you can find the affiliate link in the link in the description down below, if I don't forget, to leave that in the description so let's just go ahead and connect it with our mouse now my mouse is pretty much connected with my keyboard and also guys if you have something like this it's you're pretty lucky because you can actually do this look you can basically control some things with your joystick on the side so that's pretty cool if you have that option you can do like a lot more better things stuff like that and use it for pretty useful things so now we are basically done with that so this is how you can connect it wirelessly your mini keyboard and what you also can do is you can also connect it with your usb cable and that's also pretty simple what you basically have to do is you just want to connect it with your ps5 here and then just connect it with your keyboard so basically i'm gonna start up warzone or just a multiplayer game and i'm gonna test this keyboard out so let's go so guys you will get this Please reconnect your keyboard or something like that. So it could happen that you get that, but that's no issue. So like you see, if I go through the mouse and guys, this is just a, remember that this is just a game capture card. So let's me open it from here. It was just a bit easier to record this way, but I can also show you on HDMI too. And that will also show my PS5. If you think this is like my PC or something like that, it's not my PC. So let's just go ahead and it's opened up, I think. Let's see. Yep, it's opened up. So like you see, guys, here's my mouse. And I don't really experience any delays at all. So it goes pretty fast, I think. There's like no delays at all. And now let's just go ahead and start off. And by the way, guys, not every single game works with a keyboard and mouse. It's some couple games, but not all of them works out. And also, guys, if you don't have something like 
a mouse that you can connect your keyboard with. What you also can do is you can connect this if you have like a USB-C, I mean a USB port. <clears throat> if you have like a USB port, you can just connect it on the back of the PlayStation 5. There's also some couple other USB ports that you can connect it with. So let's do exit and start it off. So guys, if you're playing a game like this, what you want to do is you first want to go to options because if you're going to just play like this, it's not going to work. So go to options and then you want to go over to general and on here, make sure that your input device is set on keyboard and mouse. So once you click on here, you are basically done. So now what you can also do is you can go to like keyboard and mouse and do some stuff on here. That's just stuff like that basically so i just want to say guys if you are using um crossplay it's pretty much good to use a keyboard and mouse but if you turn off crossplay and you use a keyboard and mouse i don't really recommend you guys to do that the reason why is it's pretty much unfair to other players but if you are playing like crossplay it's pretty much fair because there are some also pc players that play this game and they do have a keyboard and mouse so that's just my opinion but you can do whatever that you want you can also use some couple other games like minecraft and some other call of duties i think like black ops cold war but you can just find it out just by playing but if you have like some recommendations to me you can just go ahead and comment down below and say like can you make a video about this game or that game playing with a keyboard and mouse so we have enabled keyboard and mouse what we can do is now start off a game so let's go so let me get now keyboard a bit on the side also my mouse and get this keyboard on here so like you see guys i'm going to show you you can actually walk you can just go ahead and also use your mouse like you see right. uh, these cables are pretty much annoying so like you see it goes pretty fast it's pretty good actually it's like pretty impressive to be honest so this is just some proof that it actually does work you can just also find it maybe on my other videos it also works on your ps4 i also have a video about that on the ps4 it does work it's pretty great so this was basically the video guys i hope you enjoyed it and this is how you can connect a mini keyboard in this case this is the vx2 <clears throat> to your ps5 and also guys you can follow me at twitter and instagram i'll leave a link in the description down below so let me use my controller back because i'm used to this controller so let me go to profile and like i said you can also use this like you see let's go to here and to profile so this was pretty much the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you have some other questions you can just go ahead and join my um i mean follow my twitter and my instagram link in the description and take care guys don't forget to drop a like and subscribe goodbye